Hi everyone, I uh, just want to share with you what I'm doing today. I'm disassembling kennels and I just want to talk about kennels in general. One of the ones that I have used now for about 10 years. I think it's worked. I have to tell you, um, I believe I've used it less than 25 times in the last 10 years. Um, but needless to say, I think it's weathered really good. So I'm just going to show you this kennel. It's a uh, kennel, I bought it at Lowe's, I think it was like 240 bucks. It's um, six foot, I believe, by 12 or 10. And um, what I primarily use it for is, I only have two males, but if I am uh, doing a mating, I'll just have one male in here, and then I will go ahead and, you know, have the other two out there just to make sure that you separate. And it also works if you have more than one female and they are in heat because sometimes there may be some attitudes there. And it's just good to go ahead and, and separate. On those occasions is when I do it. Um, other than that, there'll be an occasion here and there where I'll do a timeout, but that's rare because... Um, my dogs have trained very well, so really, a simple no just stops stops them in their tracks if they're not behaving um, accordingly. So, just want to show you a simple way on how to disassemble and how easy it is to assemble. So, to make it fast, I have one of these drills. You don't need this, but it comes in handy just in case. I mean. Let's face it, over 10 years in time, the bolts may become a little, uh, you know, tough to get off, maybe with a ratchet. But I figured I had this, I'll use it, spin it around. Um, in about 10 minutes, I've pretty much taken this down here. And this one is, is getting ready to just come down right here. Maro! So, yeah, all it is is a bracket up here and a bracket on the bottom and you just unscrewing that it has one that goes through this side and then the other one that pulls that side yeah. now on the top that did not come with the kit that right there is in addition can I knock it down now? yeah why don't we stand on the side here Come over here, okay? Me? And why don't you show those two over there? Me show the dogs? Yeah. Everybody wants to see the dogs anyway. Daddy, There's Dadia over there with Daddy, Noto, now can and I then Maro is gonna go ahead and push that down. One, so you ready? Two. One, two, three. Push it. Is that gonna go? Okay. Wait. No. 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 If you're gonna, I'm gonna say if you're gonna push it, you wanna push it on the uh, pole this right here is the same kind of bracket that goes there except these go um to keep these uh attached to the pole so it's basically like that one goes on the bottom one goes on the top and it keeps this so that they have shade which is very important all right if you have a 90 degree uh day obviously you want to make sure that if you are putting them in here that you have shade so this was about 75 bucks. I got it on Amazon. And uh, that right there is probably about five years old. I think it's held up pretty good. And this I recommend. And I'm just I still actually have the sticker here. Um, it says dog kennel chain link 10 by 10 by 6. So that's what it is. I wasn't sure if it was by 12, but... 10 by 6 is basically how high it is. So I'm going to disassemble this and we are moving onto 10 acres. So I'm going to take this with me and uh, it's going to be really simple as I said. So I do recommend this if for some reason you need to separate your dogs. I don't recommend keeping them in here daily. I think um, if you're going to have a Connie Corso and keep it in a 10 by 12, 
then you should just wait till you move because it's just it's it's not fair to the dog so yeah i don't believe in, in keeping this um in in using this to go ahead and you know keep a dog okay that's fine like in there and so if if for some reason someone asks me if um you know if they can house their dog and they want to adopt the puppy um, I just tell them no, just to wait till they're going to go ahead and move where they can give it enough time. Now, for some reason, they're just holding it in here, like, you know, temporarily when they go to a store and stuff. You know, that's different. And then maybe they're walking it occasionally. Um, you know, every case is different. But needless to say, I think this is a great temporary holding pin uh, for the dogs, and I do recommend it. So I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this. And um, as I said, for 220, 230, I think it's worth it. Now we're gonna go ahead, see if we can find this snake that Morrow says that he sees a snake. Ta-da! Snake! Okay. That's a worm. It's not a snake, it's a worm. It's a worm. It's a big worm, but it's not a snake. Princess. Oh! I only win! Nadia. Not though. He's a good boy. Uh, don't don't go on. Don't, oh, what are you doing? No, 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 no. No. He's a good boy. Daria. Daria. Get off of there. You could break it. Get out. So anyway, this is Noto. Heromaya. Dog. Coming to us from Middle part of Italy, kind of like the northern region. And uh, that's what he comes. The character. Very nosy. Um, parents are both multi champions in Italy. Not He's a good boy. There he is. Good dude. Not He's a good boy. Not the 